Whatever tomorrow brings, I'm grateful to see it. The first part of Outlander Season 7 had an exciting mid-season finale that wrapped up some stories and started new ones. In Episode 7, Roger learns that Rob Cameron has time-traveled with Jemmy to the past. This makes Buck and Roger decide to follow them through the stones of Craig Nadoon. Episode 8 doesn't tell us where they end up, but the Outlander books suggest it might not be smooth for them. While Buck and Roger's time travel unfolds, the 1777 timeline with Claire sees a lot happening after the first battle of Saratoga. Claire is worried, but the second battle brings both loss and hope for the Frasers and Ian Murray's future. With new characters and discoveries, Jamie and Claire have a lot going on, making the mid-season finale rewarding and ending with a long-awaited trip home. Now, let's delve into a secret glimpse of what lies ahead in Outlander Season 8, unraveling everything we currently know about the highly anticipated upcoming season. In Season 7, Episode 8, Jamie faces a significant injury during the first battle of Saratoga, mirroring events from the book An Echo in the Bone, Although Claire had to perform surgery on Jamie in both instances, there's a notable difference in the outcomes. In the book, Claire makes the tough decision to amputate one of Jamie's fingers to prevent infection. However, in the TV adaptation, she manages to save all of Jamie's fingers, resulting in a prominent scar but avoiding the traumatic consequence of amputation. The loss of the finger in the books has had a lasting impact on Jamie's life. The episode also delves into Jamie's past battles through a story from the Bible that he shares with Claire before the surgery. This narrative justifies potential harm to Jamie's hand, highlighting the sacrifices made for the greater good. It serves as a reflection on Jamie's history of fighting, from the Jacobite Rebellion to Alamance and the battles of the American Revolutionary War. Jamie has consistently found himself in the midst of conflict, compelled by external forces and striving to survive. While Claire expresses concern about Jamie's willingness to put himself in danger, particularly in battles, the mid-season finale clarifies that Jamie's actions are often driven by necessity rather than a desire for heroism. Jamie strategically safeguards himself and his fellow rebels during conflicts, avoiding unnecessary risks. This revelation challenges Claire's perception of Jamie's motivations emphasizing that his choices are rooted in pragmatism rather than an inclination for heroics, ultimately proving her wrong. In the Season 7 mid-season finale, Brianna discovers that Cameron has stolen Claire and Jamie's letter regarding the Jacobite gold and has kidnapped Jemmy. This development adds weight to the credibility of the Jacobite gold curse. The late arrival of the gold, unable to effectively support the Jacobite cause, has consistently brought trouble. Jocasta Cameron even lost her daughter due to her husband's involvement with the stolen gold. Jemmy's kidnapping, linked to his knowledge of the Jacobite gold's location, further substantiates the existence of the curse, placing someone in danger even 200 years into the future. The evolution of Buck McKenzie's character, initially introduced in Season 5 with a vengeful disposition, becomes evident in the mid-season finale of Season 7. Despite his earlier animosity, Buck now listens to Roger and Brianna. His offer to accompany Roger to the past showcases his significant transformation, especially as Roger discloses the truth about Buck's anticipated death in 1778. This gesture implies a resolution of any lingering hostilities between Buck and his descendant. The mid-season finale also sheds light on the complexities of Ian and Rachel's relationship. A kiss between them triggers an unreadable reaction from Ian, and Episode 8 confirms his reluctance to pursue a romantic connection with Rachel. Their feelings come to the forefront, leading to a conversation about their relationship. However, Ian's realization that he loves Rachel is intertwined with the threat from Archbug in Episode 3 putting Rachel in danger if they were to be romantically involved. Even without a formal relationship, Rollo's presence with Rachel puts her on Arch's radar, heightening the risk to her safety. In Season 7, Jamie takes on a new role with Daniel Morgan's company, distancing himself from the battlefield while utilizing his excellent shooting abilities. When faced with the task of firing against his cousin Simon Fraser of Balnain, 
Jamie deliberately misses as he cannot bear the responsibility of Simon's death. However, this conscious decision results in a near miss, with Jamie shooting at William's hat and narrowly avoiding hitting his son in the head. Jamie's deep-seated fear of causing harm to his biological son is a primary reason for his reluctance to be involved in the American Revolution, and choosing to miss almost brings his biggest fear to fruition. The ending of Season 7, Episode 8 marks a significant moment for the Frasers as they return to Scotland for the first time since Season 3. The emotional scene reunites Jamie, Ian, and Claire with their homeland, symbolizing a return to Jamie and Ian's roots. While Scotland is no longer the Frasers' current life, it still holds a special place in Jamie and Ian's hearts, being where Jamie and Claire initially met. Although their stay in Scotland may not be prolonged, in the second part of Season 7, the show concludes its first part on a positive and nostalgic note. In Season 7, Episode 5, the introduction of Simon Fraser of Balnain hints at the possible return of Lord John, as the seventh book in the Outlander series indicates that Jamie, Claire, and Ian's trip to Scotland was made possible by Simon's death and his wish to be buried in Scotland. The show portrays Simon Fraser as a positive figure in his relationship with William, despite being on opposite sides of Claire and Jamie. The timing, coupled with the hint of the second Battle of Saratoga in Episode 8's trailer, suggests that Simon Fraser's death may occur soon, making the Fraser's trip to Scotland imminent. Outlander's seventh book shortens Claire's trip to Scotland due to her being needed by Marsali for Henri Christian's surgery. If Episode 8 concludes with Jamie, Claire and Ian bringing Simon Fraser's body to Balnain, Lord John Grey's return might happen earlier in the second part of Season 7. Whenever this reunion occurs, the show is likely to introduce twists as Lord John and the Fraser's reunion intertwine multiple storylines from the Outlander books. Stars has officially confirmed that the seventh and eighth seasons of Outlander will bring an epic conclusion to Claire and Jamie's love story. This assures the return of Katrina Balfe and Sam Hewen to reprise their roles as fan-favorite characters Claire and Jamie Fraser. Season 8 will center around Diana Gabaldon's ninth book, Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone, indicating the return of Sophie Skelton as Brianna and Richard Rankin as Roger, as they play crucial roles in the plot. And that's that for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to comment below and let us know which things impressed you the most. And your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.